Hello students. In this lecture, we are going to see about IoT protocols. Specifically, a uh, link layer and network layer. So, so far we have dis discussed the physical design in IoT. So, physical design comprises of functional blocks and generic block diagram. So, and then IoT protocols. So, IoT protocols, protocols is nothing but a set of rules which are going to followed by the IoT device to transfer the data. So, uh, what are all the uh, IoT protocols and the, what are all the layers which deals with the IoT protocols is shown in the block diagram. So, there are four layers, link layer, network layer, transport layer, application layer. So, these four uh, layers follows the protocols. So, before that IoT architecture says that uh, IoT as system has a multiple levels. So, these levels are also known as tiers. So, basically from level 1 to there are totally Cisco framed the IoT reference model having a 7 levels from level 1. So, physical devices and controllers the things in IoT. So, like uh, sensors, machines, devices, intelligent uh, edge nodes of different types. Uh, level 2 becomes a connectivity. So, connectivity in the uh, communication and processing units. So, level 3 is edge computing, the data element analysis and transformation. So, the processed data from the physical device which is connected through the data element analysis and transformation process through connectivity and communication processing units. So, level 3 comes edge computing. So, level 4 uh, data accumulation that is a storage of data for further process. Then level 5 deals with the data abstraction. So, here the real analysis takes place. So, aggregation and accessing the data. So, level 6 is the application part. So, reporting the uh, based on the input received processed by the uh, further uh, parts. So, analysis takes place and control. So, where the control uh, deals with the application in level 6. So, level 7 is the uh, involving people and business process. So, here the application uh, which is particularly used for what purpose? So, it is for individual or it is for uh, industrial or it is for a business purpose. So, the collaboration and process takes place in the level 7. So, this is the IoT uh, uh, structural view that is architectural view uh, designed by Cisco. So, here uh, the block diagram is consisting of four types of layers. So, we are going to see the link layer and network layer. So, the link layer which is uh, protocols which determines how the data is sent. So, data which is sent over the networks physical layer or medium. So, uh, here the local uh, network which is connected to the host, connected uh, to which the host is attached. So, host on the same link can exchange data packets over the link layer. So, uh, here the data which is uh, transferred from the input device to the uh, network through this type of layer. So, the layer has to follow some protocol. So, link layer determines how's the, how the packets are encoded. So, uh, how the data are encoded and uh, signaled by the hardware device for which the medium uh, for which the host is attached. So, link layer protocol determines how the data is physically sent over the network's physical layer of medium. So, these are all the protocols which is uh, available for the link layer. So, Ethernet, WiMAX, Cellular, Wi-Fi and LRW PAN. So, uh, this comes under the category of link layer. So, we are going to see about the these uh, different protocols and their futures with the help of the uh, next slide. Right. So, Ethernet is the, uh, it is a IEEE 802.3, it is a collection of uh, wired Ethernet standards for the link layer. For example, uh, 803, uh, 802.3 is the standard for 10 base 5. So, the Ethernet that uses coaxial cable as a shared medium. So, coaxial cable so as a shared medium. Another thing the 802.3.i, so it uses a 
copper twisted pair 10 base t so this is the general formula which is used in uh, uh, sharing the uh, medium sharing shared medium in the uh, ethernet so and then uh, next to that uh, 802.3 uh, point j it is a standard for 10 base f so ethernet over f stands for fiber optic connections and then here t 10 base uh, 5t stands for twisted pair connections so uh, 802.3 a is the standard for uh, optical fiber which transfers the data rate about 10 gigabits per ethernet over a fiber cable so here the data rates are provided from 10 gigabits to 40 gigabits and higher so here the data transfer rate is high so the shared medium in ethernet can be a coaxial cable or a twisted uh, pair wire or a optical fiber so based on the standards we have seen the different types of uh, uh, op uh, different types of medium through which the network uh, th through which the data is shared over the network the shared medium that is the broadcast medium which carries the communication for all the devices on the network so by this the data can be sent by one devices and can be received by all the devices which is subjected to the conditions and tra uh, trans receiver capabilities so the specifications of uh, 802.3 which is available in uh, ieee standard website you can refer that so 80 uh, in uh, next coming into 802.11 so it is a wi-fi wireless fidelity so it is ieee 802.11 it is a collection of wireless local area network that is wlan which is a communication standards which includes an extensive description of the link layer so it is a collection of wireless local area network so the data rates can be from uh, uh, 1 mbps to 6.75 gbps so 1 megabits per second and then 6.75 mega gigabits per second so it has a different uh, standards so from uh, 802.11a so it operates under 5 gigahertz band so it is the operating frequency is 5 gigahertz band and 802.11b and 802.11g so the, it uh, has to do uh, two standards and then operates under the frequency of 2.4 gigahertz band so third one is a 802.11.n so it uses 2.4 and uh, 5 gigahertz bands so and then the fourth standard is using 802.11.ac so it uses uh, 5 gigahertz band so and then uh, 802.11ad so it uses a 60 gigahertz band so based on the standards and then uh, operating frequency so the this is the protocol which is followed by wi-fi so our the wi-fi devices which can sense the data rate from 1 mbps the specifications of 802.11 standards are also available in the website so 80 next one uh, 802.16 so 802.16 is a, a collection of wireless broadband uh, standards so it is includes a description uh, it includes the description of wi-fi max and also the collection collection of wireless broadband standards here the uh, data rates data rates which are uh, uh, used in this uh, type of network is uh, 1.5 mbps to 1 1 gbps per second okay 1 gb per second here the data transfer rate is uh, varied so here the standard used is 802.16 m so here the data rate which is 100 mbps for mobile stations and 1 gbps for fixed stations so this is a, a ymax standards which provides the data rates so the recent update 802.16 m which provides the 100 mbps so this is the recent uh, uh, standard which is developed by ieee for ymax so next uh, 802. Uh, 15.4 uh, this is lr pan lr pan, wireless pan so it is a collection of standards for low rate so low rate wireless personal area network so it is a it uses a low power so that's why it is termed as low rate and then wireless personal area network so these standards forms the basis of specification for high level communication protocols so this is used for zigbee uh, a purpose 
so here the standards which provides uh, data rates from uh, 40 kbps to 250 kbps per second so it provides a low cost and low speed low speed communication for low power constraint devices so it is used for a, a low rate and wireless devices so it is used for the communication purposes so its uh, specification also mentioned in the ieee website so next uh, coming into picture is uh, 2g 3g and 4g so fourth generation second generation third generation and fourth generation even know uh, from the mobile phone starting from past uh, past decades your uh, the mobile communication has been drastically developed from 2g uh, 3g and 4g now the 5g will be at a trending within uh, this uh, uh, one year the 5g uh, communication fifth generation communication will be launched so there are different generations of mobile standard communications including uh, gsm and uh, core uh, cdma so third generation includes uh, umts and cdma 2000 and fourth generation is uh, including uh, lte that is a long term evolution so iot devices uh, based on the standards can communicate over a uh, cellular networks so the data rates for this uh, uh, is uh, from ranging from 9.6 kbps for 2g up to 100 mbps for 4g so the data rate uh, has been uh, drastically developed uh, uh, improved uh, for the communication so here the st uh, standard 2g standard is uses a gsm uh, cdma core division multiple access and then uh, 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 3g which uses umts and uh, cdma uh, this uh, uh, over over the network the transfer of data has been drastically uh, increased okay so universal mobile tele telecommunication service and then uh, global system management and this is the uh, data which uh, uses global system for mobile communication and then gsm is global system for mobile communication so 4g it includes a lte the long term evolution so these are all the different types of protocols which includes in uh, uh, link layer so and then coming into picture is a network layer so these network layer which is responsible for uh, sending uh, uh, ip datagrams so that is a sending internet protocol from the source to the destination network so it includes the uh, the transferring of data from the uh, device to the, from the gateway to the network right so uh, the network layers which are responsible for sending the ip datagrams from the source to the a destination network and it performs the host addressing and packet routing so packet routing in the sense uh, uh, the data are transferred through packets so uh, data has been uh, data uh, which is uh, handling in zeros and ones can be uh, sent through the packets and host addressing is meant for specific uh, application so every individual uh, device has every individual api key application programming interface so it also performs the specific addressing and and packet routing so host identification is done using hierarchical ip so for example we are going for uh, uh, typing uh, google.com so google has some specific address so we are uh, the google dot google is converted into uh, specific address which includes a uh, 10 points for example 10 point one point uh, 100 point something so this is the uh, whole, uh, addressing so which uh, which tends to uh, search the data from the server okay host identification is using hierarchical ip addressing schemes such as ip version 4 and ip version 6 so this is the uh, network layer and also the internet layer so we are going to see about the ip4 so which is uh, internet protocol version 4 this uh, ip version 4 is mostly deployed through internet protocol because it is used to identify the uh, devices on a network using hierarchical addressing scheme so it uses a 32-bit addressing. So 32-bit address uh, scheme is used for this purpose. So uh, that allows 2 power 32. Okay. So 2 power 32 addresses it is uh, dealing with. So as more and more devices cost, uh, got connected to the internet, these addresses got exhausted. Okay. So these addresses cost exhausted in the year 2011. So IPv4 uh, has been succeeded by IP version 6. So the IP protocol which establishes the connections on packet networks 
so but uh, do not guarantee delivery of packets so it is uh, using packeting of uh, uh, data so but uh, there is no guarantee delivery for data so guaranteed delivery and data integrity are handled by the upper layer protocols which is a tran a transfer control protocol tcp so ip4 is formally described in rfc 9791 uh, so this is the detail about ip4 and ip version 6 is a newest version of internet protocol and it is the successor to ip4 so it uses a 128 uh, bit addressing scheme so it allows 2 power 128 or 3.4 into 10 power 38 addresses we can uh, we can uh, use this for uh, internet protocol version 6 so this is formally described in rfc 2460 so next it comes to low point it is a, a low power wireless personal area network so it is used for uh, uh, devices with limited processing capabilities so this uh, ip protocol which is used for low power devices having a limited processing capabilities so it operates under uh, 2.4 gigahertz of frequency range and provides a data transfer range of over uh, 250 kbps so uh, it works with 802.15.4 link layer protocol and defines uh, compression mechanisms for ip46 ip uh, version 6 so these are all the uh, different uh, uh, protocols which is used in link layer and also network and internet layer so so far you have uh, get an idea about the link layer and protocols which 